Uh, yes, let's start a thing, huh? Here you have my Twitter. As always, consider following me, guys. Uh, I created a Steam it, okay? Which I was encouraged to do by some friends. And here I'm gonna show you guys uh, really quickly. Yeah, huh? my first. This is my uh, my steam it. Uh, a brief story of a crypto investor, trade, musician, and teacher. Read up, okay? <laughs> if you find it funny or if you find it enticing, uh, consider consider um, reading it. And I don't know. <laughs> this is the link. I would like to. It would be fun to have you guys there, give me some support, and you know, right? So, without further ado, let's talk about Bitcoin, guys. Yes, Bitcoin. Hmm. No, <laughs> we um, nothing so different has happened. Eh? We have. As always, we we are uh, well, we are doing this sideways movement, which is so characteristic of waves for okay. So we have this A B C D E, okay. This is how I am uh, at least for now. This is how I am uh, counting it. Okay, it might be. Uh, like this okay let's we have this pattern here in the book let's see if we find it uh, I like how it's to use this book as a as a guideline okay this is the expanding okay we might see something like this an expanding pattern but it's too soon to tell what's gonna happen I, I think that we are gonna uh, take like days to finish this pattern okay if it's an expanding triangle, A, B, C, D, E. If it's an expanding triangle or if it's gonna contract because even though we have an expanding pattern here considering the the candles, the body of the candles, we have uh, lower highs here, right? And lower lows, at least when we complete this, okay? I don't see this movement here as a, a impulse, as, a, as, a, as a, another attempt to break the the resistance okay of course we have a resistance here let me zoom out a little bit yes otherwise it's gonna be difficult to see the whole picture right um so okay so here we have a clear resistance right we, the, this was our uh, a previous wave four inside our wave three yes this was a wave four inside our wave three here we have a, 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 a one, two, three, four, and then a five. We would have an extended five in this case. Okay, uh, this is th this price action here is really characteristic of a wave four. Okay, so if you count here, it's really difficult to put uh, uh, to, to find a wave one here. But uh, here we have a one, two. Um, this is three. Then we have a four and a five, extended five. Okay. Then a four again. You see this? It, it, how similar it is. This price action, okay. This is a four, correcting a, a motive impulse wave down, okay. Um, so this is a place that we are gonna find resistance. That's obvious, okay. So uh, that's why we are here, okay. That's why we are. Uh, at this moment we are waiting for something yeah we are taking our time bitcoin eh, is taking its time to correct here to retrace and try again to break this resistance okay um so if we are a, if we consider this a, a motive impulse wave yes uh, 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 okay if you have watched my videos my my yesterday's video my other streams you are gonna remember that i have plenty of different scenarios this scenario here i have um, a truncated fifth 
Okay, a truncated fifth is uh, is within the Elliott wave principles that we might have a, a, a fifth, a truncated fifth, which implies that we are going to have a, a a dramatic trend reversal. Okay, if this is what is happening, if we have a truncated fifth, we need to consider that this is going to be a trend reversal. Okay, and uh, if it's, a, it's a, a dramatic trend reversal, we have volume, okay, we have volume. This is a one hour chart, but I have a, a daily chart here as well, yes. This is my daily chart, okay, um, which is it, which is looking nice. Uh, it, this is, was a, what, a spinning top, right? Um, a, a, bit, a bit of indecision, but what what was fun about the, yeah, uh, the this daily close here was that we closed the the candle above the 100 EMA. This is a bullish scenario. This is a bullish sign, in my opinion. Okay, we have a hammer here now, or uh, but it's uh, it's too soon. We, we are now retracing. Of course, we need to retrace this movement. That's that's clear for me. And as I said in a, in our previous video, we have if we have this inverted head and shoulder, we need to get at least to this to test this 200 EMA. Okay, again, this is my my those are those are my values. Okay, 21 is the blue one. 55, we have broken it. This is daily again. 100, we have broken it, tested it, and broken it. We are now above the 100 EMA. And we have yet to reach the 200 EMA here and perhaps break it. If we break it, like if, if, it's, if we uh, close the candle above the 200 EMA, this is going to be a huge sign that we are in a, that we had a, a, a trend reversal. Okay. What is a trend reversal, guys? Okay. We have this, this, okay. Let me show you guys the whole picture, right? This is our daily again, but this is a, a, a zoom out view of the, the of the whole movement. We have this whole downtrend here, A, B, C, D, E. And if we have a trend reversal, this is our trend. This was our movement going down. And if we have a, a trend reversal, we are going up now. We, we end the, the, the correction here. OK, I'm not saying that we that we have a bottom yet i'm not saying that i'm saying that it's possible okay that we have finished here our ea we uh, our e wave okay according to my count here it's possible we have some room left okay we have indeed we have some room left to correct okay here we have some time uh, like i said uh we are like now 20, 280 221 days right today is the the 20th uh, 21 okay 221 days right um so it's fine it's fine if we break the if we break out of this pattern now but as always it's really important for us to consider different scenarios it's bitcoin it's <laughs> We have we have smart money now. It's not 2017 anymore. Okay, this is one count. Okay, this is the count that I'm considering if we are to finish here. Okay, we had a, a, a truncated fifth and we are breaking down in trend reversal. Okay, but now we are bullish. Okay, this is one scenario. Let's consider if we don't have this scenario. If we um, if it's Actually, this this is not um, this is a different count. What if we don't have a motive impulse wave here? What we have, what's happening here? It's a correction, correction of this whole motive impulse wave down. Okay, it's possible. It is an A, B, C, and then we fail to break those resistance. Okay, we might break this one as we we have break kind of break it. We are now correcting it. But we fail to go uh, to break this resistance, for instance. Okay, we failed. We have an X here. We failed, and then what we see is that we get to the, those uh, perhaps 8K 
8500 but we start going down okay we start going down it's common we have those targets here minus 30, 23 60 percent minus 38 20 percent okay those are all targets that has not been hit okay uh how i am how do i know these algo targets i have my fib fib retracement okay here i i pull it from the top of the this high here to the bottom okay so then i know that some algos have uh, sold here at the 50 percent and they are now waiting for this minus 33 60 percent to buy again okay that's simple and this whole retracement is showing us where uh, we have some resistance okay we have some resistance at the 50 percent we have some resistance at the 30 80 20 percent okay that's okay okay you see the, the the reaction here that we have at the 30 80 20 percent it works really well you just need to swing uh, from high to low and we have those algo those uh, resistance and those fib levels okay um we are now we are now sitting here at a 30 80 20 percent we need to break the 50 percent we need to get to this 65 61 80 percent and when we get here well so well it remains to be seen if we are going to break this this might be an ABC and an X here. It's a corrective pattern. Then we would have a W here, X and a Y here. Okay, a double, a double, um, uh, double combo, like we have here in the book. Let me show you guys. Uh, it would be something like this. Okay, so uh, W X Y. Okay, we will have something like this. A, B, C, what flat, but we wouldn't have a flat at the beginning, we would have a zigzag, uh, zigzag at the beginning, right? We need to change this count if we are to allow that this is a W, X, Y, or this could be an A, B, C as well, yes. And then I will need to compick, we need to consider the, the, the daily chart, I would, we would have an A, B, C. D E. Oh, is that possible? Yes. Uh, what book are you using? I am using the the Bible of Elliott Waves, guys. It's Elliott Wave Principle, Key to the Market Behavior. Uh, the guy is. Uh, let me go to the map. This book here, guys. Okay. Elliott Wave. Let me um, show you. Um, go to the beginning. Um, I'm sorry, uh, it, this is the book, Robert R. R. Pletcher, okay, it's an amazing book, guys, amazing, and I like, uh, as, as, a, as my background is, uh, I am a, a, a student, most of the time I, I am a researcher as well, so I like to refer to what I am using, right, it's, it's honest to do so uh sorry um as we were talking about it is it possible to have an why i'm doing this because this is my, my <laughs> when i try to jump the pages using the the tool i can't i don't know why it's not working on my kindle here so i bought the book okay guys and i encourage you guys of course i encourage no i say you guys please buy the book support the author this is important okay uh, so we might have something like this happening here okay see this is the silver uh, this the example here in, that we have in our book here is silver okay we see I, I have said that before we have a, a, a parabolic growth here of course this is a stock market this took years to happen and then we have the correction it's not of course it's not exactly what is happening now but it's somehow, it's similar, isn't it? We have an A, B, C, D, we have this sharp correction first, A, okay? That's why I said the beginning of the pattern is here, A, 
B, this is now when we have the sharp correction, then we have the 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 triangle A B C D E. It starts real. Okay? A B C D E. Now within E we might have an A B C D E as well. Okay, that's the thing. So if we if I am to label like this, I have said that, okay? I have uh, presented that, that scenario before. We might have something like this, A, B, C, D, and E, and then we would break. This would be an extended scenario, okay? If we, like here, okay? We have the E, then we have a A, B, C, D, E. In this case, the author is labeling like E, F, G, H, I. Okay, it's possible if you want to label like this, but we don't have this option here, so I am using A, B, C, D, E inside our E wave. Okay, so that's what would happen if we have our X here, if we fail to go higher and, uh, and we don't have a motive impulse wave, but rather we have a reactionary wave reacting to this whole motive impulse wave down here okay um, and that would means that we would go down again perhaps uh, challenge this low or not because uh, our triangle here is not that uh, we would have another lower low yes and we would take more time to finish it okay like this whole year perhaps November you see there November difficult to tell yeah what we need to do now is focus on the short term I think and look if we of course if you like to to trade uh, to to pay attention on what Bitcoin is doing every day it's up to you if you if you, if you like to day trade or not so this is this is what I think is happening this is what I think it might not be the case okay as always I need to this could be this could play this could easily play like this okay an expanded a b c d e okay and then we would go down perhaps even lower to get to this 38 20 percent yes that would be nice for for a wave four isn't it yeah we will have something like this an expanded a b c d e i'm sorry let me do this I'm just adjusting my 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 waves here okay um, so this is this is what's happening now okay what I think is gonna happen next okay we are Bitcoin is gonna wait here a bit okay it's gonna do its order books looks thing in that seven seven one hundred yes of course it looks thin yeah B why because we are now looking at this price act we are now looking at this point here okay bit router we are not really there yet to start looking for this and uh, as you said okay the order book looks like looks thin in this range here so it might have a shallow correction okay like i said what we have here might be something like this pattern here you see this pattern here looks a little bit like this one but this one here in a in a in a larger scale you see this pattern here this pattern here this strange like trying to this this was a four according to my count my count might be wrong as well okay this is my count. This is what. This is my four. We might have something similar here. Okay. You see, it's similar. Okay. It's similar. Oops. This one, and this one here. Yes. Don't you agree? It look. It look like doing almost the same I, I would count the same thing that i'm doing here i would try to count here but then bitcoin did this boom boom bam 
So you need that's why you need to pay attention and play accordingly. Yeah, wait and if you are, if you, you need to use your tools. If you are counting on a breakout here, use your. Let me zoom out. Use your uh, your risk reward long here. Uh, wait, wait a second. If you if you think that's gonna break, you see uh, one. Let, let me give you guys a piece of advice. Let, let, how I am gonna play this? If I am gonna enter along, this is the highest point. Okay, w what is it? Seven six hundred. Okay. Okay, if you think that this is not going down any further more, okay? If you think that this is going up, okay? And then we have this week here. This week here is lower than this one. Then we would have another week here. That's what I imagine. By the way, that's what we have here. Another week here. And we try to go up again and we, we traced, okay? Okay. So, if it goes again to this price range here, okay? A bit higher this price range here I would enter along and where I would I would put my stop-loss I would enter like a, a half of this week here seven seven five hundred I would enter along okay I wouldn't enter now why not because it's risky of course it, it might go down I, I think it's going down and then I would put my stop-loss where I would put my stop-loss exactly at this blue line this is a uh, seven, seven, four hundred, seventy-four hundred. Sorry, and then of course I would target us uh, uh, minus three. I wouldn't target the minus three three twenty here. I would target the this one here minus three three six. Doesn't matter if it goes higher. Okay, doesn't matter. Remember, this is a really nice risk reward. Seven point two. It's a nice play. It's a nice setup, in my opinion. I would play like this if you believe that this is going up. Okay, you enter. Doesn't you should not enter now. You should wait for another. Uh, perhaps if you if you want to if you want something really really uh, precise, I would enter above this week. Why? Because if we have a, a higher week here, this whole pattern here is wrong. This whole pattern here of a uh, of lower highs is wrong. So, are you following me? If we have a lower uh, a higher week here, th this that means that we are probably going up. Okay. So then, if you enter here, like at the top of this week here, because we won't have another lower week, then you enter here, and you 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 put your stop loss at the top of this week here. Okay, you you have a significant uh, risk reward as well, four four forty five. Okay, if you want to be, if you want to be more conservative, you can uh, put your stop loss at the half of this week here, and that's it. You have a five sixty six uh, risk reward. Okay, I'm targeting a minus minus thirty three sixty percent. This is what I think. Okay, it is a really nice setup in my opinion. Because you can, you, you don't have a risk, okay? You don't have a risk of uh, of breaking this pattern. You see, uh, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. Th that's what I think is gonna happen. However, if we have a, a, another high like this one here, okay? Then you enter. You enter here because it's gonna break this pattern. So someone is pushing not someone but the market is pushing the price up so that's why we have this price again what is the chance it, of it going down again it's not very likely if it goes again to this price it's because it's going higher so then you put your your you start laddering of course you ladder you don't enter at once you ladder let me put here my mark this would be your where you would went where you would enter okay seven six hundred okay then it would start laddering up oh it's it broke the the resistance nice i'm gonna start adding more to my position okay like uh i enter i don't know i am really confident 
30% then I'm gonna start adding to it when I get here I sell I get I take my profit at minus 33 60 percent okay this is how I would play this if I, if I am to buy it and long like waiting for this wave three to break okay considering that we are uh, going up without retracing okay without retracing that that this retracement here was enough 23 60 percent now I wait for this to break I don't enter here I went I enter here uh, 7600 and I put my stop loss down if you want to be more conserv more less conservative put your stop loss a bit lower okay it's a reasonable risk reward okay that's how I would play this long here I wouldn't play this long here without waiting for this ret retracement okay uh, this is just a one this is one setup that might help you guys that might be good for you okay if you don't again if you think that this is not gonna uh, retrace more this is how I'm gonna play okay uh, question guys this is my Bitcoin update I think that I have covered it uh, I sh I presented my daily chart as always I presented my bullish count which is this one here okay and I presented my bearish count if you want guys if you have a chart that you guys want me to take a look I can show you oh yeah someone asked me about EOS here we have EOS okay uh, I encourage you guys to take a look at my steam it because there I have um, a nice opportunity for EOS I have this trade here there okay he, there I, ex I explain how I would how I am gonna play with the uh, with EOS how it would be smart to play with EOS okay this is my strategy for EOS okay but it seems this is a this is my my bullish count okay one two three four five we have those resistance okay this resistance to break this resistance to break same thing as Bitcoin guys we need to wait for this retracement okay don't enter now if you want to enter here the short uh, on my estimate I present this as a possibility of a long okay uh, but what if you want to play short if you want to enter a short it's the opposite right you don't don't enter now don't enter now you wait for wave B okay and you target a reasonable like this is a one two you target the the wave two here because it if B goes that deep and we B can be extended of course but we need to assume that it it's not gonna extend because this is a a rather simple correction because we are in a wave two an extended B would happen in a wave four okay that's why I'm targeting um, the this wave this this high here okay this is where I would start laddering my shorts okay a bit higher and I would put my stop loss let, let, let me just uh, let me just see here how oh, yes something like this I would start laddering my shorts here at uh, 872 bucks okay and then I would target this C here okay the C would uh, let, let's measure right let's measure it this is um fifth one two let me let me use my fib retracement tool here one to the fifth here we have 618 okay 65 this is uh, and but as always right we have seen way really deep waves to 78 788 7860 here okay it would be a nice target to start buying it back okay uh, but you see it's not a really nice risk reward okay to, to play a short only if you are I'm sorry only if you are like hmm, 
who enter like here. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't play a short here, guys. Honestly, EOS. I would I would wait. This is me personally, okay? If you want to play like if you want to enter this short because you believe that this is going down. Okay, if you believe that this is this is not a multiple impulse wave, but rather a bullish scenario, uh, I'm sorry, a bearish scenario, one, two, three, four, five going down, you enter a short, but then you target you put your stop loss like at the top of this fifth wave. Okay, because this would invalidate your count, okay? Or your bearish count. Is that right? Okay, is that okay? I would play like this and then I will target my short way down here okay because then I'm considering that this is going down it's a different scenario a okay, different scenario um, then uh, what I presented as a, as my long scenario is this I would wait for my C okay I would wait for a B C my two um, this would be the, the the wave right we would test this resistance first then we would retrace again and then we would have our fifth wave this whole wave here would be a one if we have a bullish count if we are to be bullish here okay then i would start ledgering my buys at at the seven bucks 16 and then seven bucks and then if it goes down six six nine bucks okay and then six fifty eight okay thanks for the following guys <laughs> If I, if I forget to thank you for following me, consider it now. <laughs> Considering, consider done now. Thanks for the support and everything. So, and um, this is the, so those are my, my targets for laddering my buys. Okay, for, for my long, and then of course, where is my stop loss, guys? Below this lowest low here. Simple. It's it, this this. This setup here is so easy, guys, because you just need to, to, to put your stop loss here. This is our stop loss. Let me change to head. Our stop loss is really here, uh, at the bottom of this wave here, at our lowest low here. Okay, our this fifth wave here. This is our stop loss. You don't need to target your stop loss below this target here because if we go down here it's this whole count is wrong and then you lose a bit you, of course we stick with your stop loss but look at the the upside this is a risk reward of a 20 it's a really good risk reward ratio isn't it that's why i'm considering entering this wave two if this is a wave two and that's it Okay, this is my EOS. I really like to play EOS because I am on Bitfinex and we have plenty of uh, plenty of volume there. Okay, this is my scenario. Pretty pretty easy, guys. Stop loss below this the lowest low and ladder your buys when we have this retracement here, wave C. Or if we don't, if we don't have this huge uh, retracement that I'm planning here. If we have a, a shorter wave C, we start buying here at 618, 65. Our, this is our uh, golden pocket, right? 618, 65. We start buying here and then we go until 7860%. Okay? This is my, my setup. It's not a problem if you start buying sooner than this. I'm, I'm, I just said, but you can start buying here. Okay? 755 bucks. And then you add more to your position when it starts going up. If it doesn't retrace to to this lower uh, lower prices here, okay. But your stop loss is the same. Okay, it's the same stop loss below this low this lowest low here, this red line here. Um, let me. What is is uh, is six forty seven. Okay, that's it, guys. Uh, I'm wrapping up here. Uh, do you guys have questions, suggestions, feedbacks, whatever? Uh, different counts, and uh, I don't know. I'm gonna 
open the the stream for you guys as always you guys are doing this with me <clears throat> yes i do uh league daddy i have my twitter okay uh i this is my twitter i have my if I haven't posted my BTC there, I'm gonna post it now, and I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, upload this video, this stream to the YouTube. Okay, so if you haven't joined me yet, please consider joining me. I'm gonna let me copy it here. This is my YouTube channel, and I'm gonna copy for you. Okay, this is my link here. If you if you haven't been here since the beginning, this is my YouTube channel. I'm gonna upload the video to my YouTube channel, okay? And then you find there all my information. This is my Twitter as well, okay? You can find there more information, different charts. And at the beginning of the, the chat, I, I shared my Steemit. You have there as well my charts, some charts I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna post my post my Bitcoin chart there as well, okay. So guys, um, I think it's if you have anything else to ask or to add to my to my stream. Oh, you're welcome, Lick Daddy. You're welcome. Thanks for your support. Um, so um that's it guys thanks for watching okay uh this is gonna be uploaded to my youtube channel as i said those are my social media uh websites my social media nicknames <laughs> so if you like it you subscribe uh thanks for watching and that will and as always enjoy your trades guys Let's do this together. Bye-bye. See you guys later. Cheers.